Are you a thoughtful leader? Maybe you are. Maybe you think you are. Let's find out. I'm Mindy Gibbons Klein. I'm author of The Thoughtful Leader and host of The Thoughtful Leader podcast. Thoughtful leadership is all about thought leadership that goes above and beyond. Thought leadership that is truly new and original, exciting, disruptive, maybe even groundbreaking. Because let's face it, we need to raise the bar. My guests and I are absolutely obsessed with finding truly original thought leadership. And I'm going to bring you so many exciting ideas and opportunities, things for you to think about and chances for you to push your thinking that you'll be very glad you tuned in. So thanks so much for checking out Thoughtful Leadership and the Thoughtful Leader podcast. I look forward to connecting with you very, very soon. Welcome to the show. It's me today, and I'm talking about knowing and living your truth. So I've been using the expression, live your truth, for 10, 12 years or more. But we throw these phrases around, don't we? You know how I feel about using phrases and not really thinking about what we're saying. And so I've done a bit of a process on myself or with myself, and I thought about that phrase, how do I use it? What does it mean? And I realized a couple of things that I thought this is perfect to share with you on the show. So if you want to live your truth, I think that means feeling like you're living authentically, feeling like you're happy and settled in your skin, as the French say, feeling like you're in flow. There there are so many different ways to describe it. But you know when you're living your truth and you know when something's not quite right also. The first thing that you need to do is figure out what is that truth. You need to know your truth before you can live your truth. This is the insight that occurred to me. And then you can take action. Before you think about it, you may not realize what it is that doesn't feel right. What is it that Uh, is stopping you from feeling like you're in full flow, from feeling authentic, etc. The aspect of your life that I'd like you to think about today is one that I've been thinking about. And I thought it was a business aspect, but it turns out that it's relationships, because there is really no business without relationships, professional relationships, as my friend Andy Lopata calls them. When you are not in sync or in flow, it is difficult to create a relationship. It's almost like going out to a meeting or a party and having a mask. I don't mean a COVID mask, having a Halloween mask over your face. And so people can't see you. And I know that metaphor has been used a lot. I'm talking about you choosing to show up. And hopefully other people are showing up in the same way. You can't build a relationship if you're completely authentic and out there and, and, you know, sort of laying it all out there for people and the others are not, because you won't feel like you're meeting on equal ground. And the other thing, of course, that plays into this is trust. And I, I think these are related because if you are thoughtful about the way you come across, how you put yourself out there, as I've been saying, you're going to create a space where people can trust you. They're not wondering, what are you hiding? Is there something that I'm not getting? You know, when you get that feeling. This is why it's been on my mind recently, because I am particularly thoughtful about my relationships. I always have been, and I I think that's developed even more. I don't know if it's because of the pandemic. I don't know if it's because... I'm older, (laughs) obviously, we're all older than we were yesterday, much less 10 years ago. And it can be simply because my priorities are shifting as I think about new businesses that I'm running, new projects, just, you know, looking at my life a bit more thoughtfully. Hopefully you're doing that now. If you're a regular listener to this show, 
hopefully you've had a few insights and listened to me and some of my guests, and it's prompted you to think about these things and remember that your time is precious, you're precious, and the people who you choose to spend your time with are darn lucky to have that time with you and to share a piece of you. That's the self-esteem bit. You have to value yourself enough to appreciate that thought. You're precious. Your time is precious. And people are lucky to have you in their life and in their relationships. If you don't believe that, perhaps I need to do another episode. I'm not, I'm definitely not a psychologist, as I've said many times. I am encouraging people to be more thoughtful about every aspect of their life and business. So relationships is a big part. Building trust starts with you allowing people to trust you. Just because you trust someone else doesn't mean they trust you. There's a lot of talk out there about giving first, and you can give trust and respect, but it's not a chronological agenda. It's it's not like you do that and then people will trust you. It's two separate choices that are made on a continuous basis, moment to moment in some cases, definitely on a case-by-case basis or depending on the scenario. For example, I have been part of many business groups and associations over the years. And in the past five years, I've joined a few extra ones, networks, clubs, whatever you want to call them, and places where I meet up with others and form relationships, professional kind, (laughs) and uh, friendships. But lately, I've just begun to reflect a bit faster. And this is This is one of the tips I have for you today. Yes, reflect. Thoughtful leadership is about reflection. Can you learn to reflect faster? Can you maybe listen to your gut and act on it faster or just take a step back or pause so that you can make a quicker analysis? I'm not going to say decision, but to analyze what's going on, to be self-aware you need to carve out that space as, as you know, you know this. And lately I've been doing that and I have pulled away from a few relationships and associations that didn't feel right, weren't working. I've tried different ways to make it work, but you can't force certain things. So I cannot be specific as you can imagine. This is really about you though. It's not about me. I'm just trying to share a specific example of where you can create more time and space, but also more peace, more peace of mind for yourself. All you need to do is look out for, listen out for, and allow yourself to feel those times, those relationships that are not making you feel great. Some people say life is short. I don't know if you believe that but life is definitely precious. And I feel we don't want to waste our time. I don't, I'm not going to say that, that I never waste time. And sometimes I find myself, you know, working on stuff and I think, oh, actually, Mindy, you know, you're procrastinating or whatever I may be doing. But when it comes to relationships, I really would like to spend time only with people who I like, admire, respect, and trust. So that's hugely important to me. So to know your truth, that's really important. I had mixed feelings, but only for a very few short moments. And then I, I spoke my truth. That, that's another episode. But we're talking about knowing your truth so you can live your truth. And knowing what was right for me, I was able to speak to the people involved And I was able to be honest and I wasn't playing any games and I wasn't wearing any masks. And I was just explaining that I'm taking a step back or a step away from this particular association. What does that mean for you? So if you look ahead, you can look back and you can see, oh, I've spent five years as a member of whatever. But I think it's more useful to 
feel in your gut where you are now and look forward. Where do you want to play? Where do you see yourself going? Where would you like to see yourself going? Maybe you don't know how to get there. There's this plenty of opportunity to set and achieve more goals. But right now, it is about being true to yourself and, and finding out that truth. So it can be as simple as switching off all your devices, meditating, or just listening to quiet music, going for a walk, doing something that gets the mind chatter to calm down. And then you have that space to think about what might need to shift. And as I said in my TED Talk, sometimes you need to change yourself to be yourself. And this is very difficult. The older you get, you could say the more difficult it gets. I happen to believe that we're all capable of making any change any time in our lives and at any rate of change. We can do it fast if we choose to. So the benefit, of course, is the sooner you do this, the sooner you're aware of what's going on, what doesn't feel right, what you might need to change, what relationship you might need to change, how you can build trust, or you know, perhaps that's not going to happen in the scenario that you're picturing, the sooner you can take action. And then you can live your truth by following through on that. So yes, it is about being true and valuing yourself. It's also about valuing the other people. So in one of the examples, I was a member of a particular organization for quite a few years. And I didn't feel that I was making that much of a contribution. It's a bit of a circle. So picture this. I didn't feel comfortable. There were certain people I actually couldn't trust, which is big. But you know, you don't have to deal with every single person everywhere you go, but it just kind of, it was there all the time. And therefore, I didn't feel that I could take off my mask completely. I didn't want to, and I chose not to, because the other people were not creating a space for me to be completely open, authentic, and to trust. And so I let that go on for quite a while. And I, you know, it's very easy not to change something. You just let it ride until it's too painful, too costly. You get the idea. Or you can decide to make these changes faster. And that is coming to the awareness. I had mixed feelings about it, but I thought, no, I must do this. And I I must shake things up a bit. And I have. So will things look and feel different? Yes. Do I know what other people are thinking about my decision? No, not exactly, because whatever messages or emails they send and whatever energy they're putting out, that may or may not be their truth. But I know that I've chosen to take action and uh, I've created that space for myself and, and I feel lighter for it. So I guess what I'm saying is the awareness that something is not right, that can come at any time, except when we're too busy, too busy, too busy, running around, distracting ourselves, putting our head in the sand. (laughs) Then we're not aware. We choose not to be aware. But that self-awareness and and that feeling that something needs to change, it is there. Trust me. Ha! See what I did there? Trust me, if you choose to. And then... It's how you take action or not. So these are two separate things. And then, of course, what the other person does or thinks about you and your actions, what they're thinking in their own mind, what they choose to do with their life and how they show up. You're right. You can't change any of that. (laughs) And if you think you can, if you think you're persuasive, influential, it's not sustainable unless they really want to change. I think you know this. If you've ever tried to change a family member or a friend, or not change them, maybe change their behavior or their habits, unless that person really is committed, it's not going to happen. So I suggest that each of us just focuses on our own feeling of self-worth, happiness, 
whether we're going in the right direction, what's working, whether relationships and the sort of, I don't know, all our tasks and actions and aspects of our life are working for us or not, and to make that a continuous process. I know a lot of people make New Year's resolutions, and when you're listening to this, the New Year has passed. (laughs) Unless you're listening to it on New Year's Day, you know, it's not just a one-time opportunity. You know, today you can make a decision. You can take a look at what's going on. If you want to live your truth, and you know what that means, I've explained a little bit about it, you need to know your truth. You need to get to that answer. And maybe you are really busy, and maybe you think you don't have time to do this. Let me give you a clue. If you find yourself lying awake in bed in the middle of the night or trying to get to sleep, instead of fighting it, What if you just relax, relax all the muscles in your body, do anything that you normally do, you know, breathing, meditation, but allow yourself a bit of time since you're up and you don't want to be up to think about the different things in your life that make you feel good or not so good. And you might think, I'm doing that. I'm doing that. I'm worrying about debts and I'm worried. I don't mean that kind of stuff. I mean, run through the whole circle of life, health wealth, relationships, spiritual growth, any aspect of, you know, your your business and life, and focus on each one. Think about specific people who are pushing your buttons. That's usually a good way to get into that area of life. And it's a gift. What a gift that you're able to see what's not working and more importantly, feel it because your body doesn't lie. So, you know, if you're lying in bed, then um, you have something that you can do so that you're not just trying to fall asleep. And if you want to, you can write down your observations. But I think if you think of them at that point, you will think of them again. Like I say, it's always there, that self-awareness. Other times you can do it if you are waiting on hold on a phone call or in a line or a queue at the supermarket, the bank, or I don't know if you go out these days, any time when you have dead time, you can focus on these important things. So I will be chatting in future episodes about how to be thoughtful in little little bite-sized pieces and lots and lots of tips about how to tap into this. But the first thing, as I've said many times on this show, is awareness. And being honest with yourself, that knowing your truth, you really will benefit. Now, know thyself means knowing what's true for you. So this, is, this has always been available to us. I just think in our fast-paced society, we don't always tap into it. I have a few enlightened friends who seem to live this way every single day. They, they are authentic, they're consistent, they're congruent, and all those lovely words, and they seem to have the secret. So it's about creating boundaries for yourself, it's about being honest, and as I've suggested, being a bit quicker to realize what's going on and to understand that you have choices and then to make some choices or decisions, take action, and begin to change something, if you choose to. (laughs) So I'm going to leave it there. There's so much more that I could go into, but I just really wanted to chat with you today about this aspect of living your truth and really understanding that you need to know what that truth is before you can live it. I'm here. If you want to book a chat with me, just reach out to me, find me. I, um, I'll make some time to talk to you about these things because I do want more thoughtful leaders to put themselves out there in an authentic way, to live their truth, to help others live their truth. This, this is probably one of the most important things that we can be doing today. Our society today doesn't really lend itself to 
this kind of stuff. And, and that's the reason why we need to do it. If you understand what I'm saying, if, if this resonates with you, reach out to me. There are many opportunities to not just work with me, but chat with me, meet me at different events, take part in some of the projects I'm doing, even possibly be a guest on this podcast. So do reach out if this message is resonating with you. MindyGK.com or the Thoughtful Leader podcast or many, many other ways to find me. Just Google my name and you'll find me. So I I hope that in addition to finding me, you find yourself. (laughs) I'm here for you. And thank you so much for being part of this community, being part of our network of influencers and thoughtful leaders and people who really care about living their truth and, and, you know, being their best and showing up at their best for others. Um, And that's what is shifting the world. We are shifting things. So I hope you know that. And I hope to speak to you soon. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of The Thoughtful Leader. And I hope it's inspired you to be more thoughtful as a leader in your business. Please consider subscribing and leaving a review. An important question for you. Do you want to create a culture of thought leadership in your organization? My best-selling book, The Thoughtful Leader, is available now on Amazon and many other sites in paperback, ebook, and audiobook formats. Please visit www.mindygk.com for more great content. That's www.mindygk.com. Speak to you again soon.